Hi guys, Dane here, and today I'm going to be making a start at the very least on my review of Objects of Affection and Other Plays for Television by Alan Bennett. So as that title suggests, this is TV plays. It's really interesting actually because they're shorter than actual play plays because obviously they have to fit into the sort of shorter window they have on TV. Um, to be honest, most of the tabs that I've got in this are bits of dialogue that I really enjoyed. I'm not going to go too much into the individual plays. I would like to see the uh, like the actual filmed version of these, but equally it was enjoyable just to read them as well. Um, the plays included are Our Winnie, A Woman of No Importance, Rolling Home, Marks, Say Something Happened, A Day Out, Intensive Care, and An Englishman Abroad. I'm going to read you the blurb, then we're going to go through and check out some tabs, and I'll share my overall thoughts and rating at the end. So, Dane reads... Eight television plays, dark and light, ranging from the turn of the century to the present day. From England to Russia and peopled with characters from every kind of background, yet all firmly rooted in a world that is Alan Bennett's alone, wry, touching, truthful, and very funny. Um, so this was actually published, um, let's see, first published in 82, reissued in 87. And when it says from the turn of the century to the present day, it means that's when they're set, not that's when they're written. So here in R. Winnie, somebody goes, oh, blood and sand. And that reminded me of my friend Jana um, because she has what we call Jannaisms, where she has a lot of those like stars and whiskers, these expressions that can kind of convey annoyance without just leaving you swearing, you know? And a character called Liz in R. Winnie, she says, attention these days, it's what people want. And I think that's still true today, you know? So then we have a woman of no importance and I'm gonna move on to rolling home here. Somebody says, funny job for a man anyway, I think, nursing. Obviously, we are more enlightened these days. And Val has a great line. Uh, they say, um, I'm all right. Mr. Stillman said to me, he said, don't you worry, Val. The right man for the job is often a woman. So we get this conversation between Marjorie and Les. So Marjorie goes, do you read any newspapers? Say the mail. The mail's better. It's classier. It definitely isn't. They're both as bad as each other. Um, so this was her pre preparing him for a job interview and kind of going through some sample questions with him. So uh, in this, someone gets a tattoo and we get this great line. A man that has a tattoo is a free man. He's someone that's taken a decision. All the rest of you is what you got given, got from your parents. You take after your mother or you take after your father. But this, this is you setting your mark upon yourself. You're grown up now. A man. I have tattoos. Hooray. Okay, uh, I didn't have anything from Say Something Happened, so we're going to move on to A Day Out. And this is one of the ones where it's got a little introduction. So I just quite enjoyed this little quote here. There's trouble at Mill. Workers are upset. They say they're too far to come to Mill. Too far to come? Nay, but they've only three fields to cross. Aye, but they're Huddersfield, Macclesfield and Sheffield. And Boothroyd says, you make a better door than a window, lad. And my mum used to say that to me when I got in the way of things. And now I say it to my cat when he stands in front of my monitors when I'm trying to work. And Boothroyd says, we've finished with wars now. Folks won't stand for it. It's not us that makes wars. Worker's not going to take up arms against worker. And this play is set before the outbreak of the First World War. So it makes it kind of a poignant line, you know. Okay, then we have intensive care, which is set in intensive care. We get a reference to someone planning to visit Bernard Castle, and that just made me think of fucking Dominic Cummings, who was Boris Johnson's advisor, who went for a jolly to Bernard Castle when everybody else was in lockdown. And this young doctor, um, he says, our task is to make them as long as possible. We've no obligation to get them off on time. This isn't British Rail, talking about when people die, you know? And that's about all I have to share from, with you from this one. Um, as I said, they were really fascinating plays. I enjoyed the backstories to a lot of them as well. It was also cool to see the list of people who starred in them. So, for example, in Intensive Care, Alan Bennett himself played Midgley. Thora Heard was in it. Um, Jim Broadbent was in it. He was in quite a few of these, actually. And, uh, yeah, I think they were all directed by Innes Lloyd as well. But, yeah, Objects of Affection, another plays for television by Alan Bennett. I gave this a week, four out of five. I think it has like limited interest, so if you're not a Bennett fan, you're probably not going to enjoy it too much. I am a Bennett fan, so I was enjoying nerding out on it, and it was good to read something that's uh, television plays as opposed to traditional plays as well. So there we go. So there we have it, that's what I made of Objects of Affection, another plays for television by Alan Bennett. As always, don't forget to let me know in the comments if you've read this book, and if so, what you thought of it. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video, hit that subscribe button for more, and I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.